Soundcraft SI series consoles. Uh, we saw originally the bigger SI 2, 3 mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, then we saw the SI Compact, the SI Performer, which of course has a lighting console built mm -hmm. into the inside of it. And now we've got the SI Expression series. Jason, I can see that it's blue, mm -hmm. but what are the other differences? Because there is more than meets the eye here. Okay, yeah, there's obviously getting a, to be a lot of options within the Soundcraft range now. So uh, a lot of the comparison that you'd make to, of an exp expression would be to a compact. Now, what are the biggest differences? Well, the first one is buses. So a compact has uh, 14 groups and 18 auxes, plus left, centre, right, whereas an expression has 24 variable buses, so they can be auxes or groups plus left, centre, right. So it's slightly lighter on buses. Uh, the other differences is there's no uh, DCAs uh, on this console, whereas there is on a compact. Uh, other difference is uh, the four band uh, EQ on every channel. Uh, the, low part, the low frequency and high frequency are fixed. You can't uh, adjust the Q, whereas on the compact you can. Uh, there's also some minor variations in, in build uh, style. So for instance, we've got uh, plastic encoders, uh, whereas on uh, the compact they are chrome. Um, but then again, this console has actually got some more advanced features than the Compact, which starts to get a little yeah, bit confusing. Yeah, the, the price is one of them. Well, yeah, it's it's you know up to a third of the price, depending on. Look, we're starting to talk about modular systems here, where you're talking about addressing uh, various star sizes of stage box, of which they have many various option cards. So it's it's a little bit hard to compare apples to apples. But yeah, you're looking at a lot less money for your actual core mixing system. Yeah, I mean that that's that's a brilliant thing to me because uh, also the other thing is I guess now with the with the uh, the Blue Link card, mm. you can link this into the stage box, and the stage box is very affordable. Yeah, um, and. And you can have a, a fairly comprehensive system for not a lot of money. Yeah. Look, one of the really cool things uh, that Soundcraft have just done, which I'm, I'm actually a little surprised I haven't seen it from another manufacturer, is there's now what's called a multi-digital format card for all the people who want to do recording. And it's got USB, Firewire, and ADAT. So there's pretty much no interface you can't plug into wow. it with that, you know, unless you want to get into Thunderbolt or something like that. And you know that's going to be a real hit amongst you know sort of pretty much anybody who wants to record the gig onto pretty much anything they want to record it onto. Yeah, look, I, I think this is this has definitely got a lot of merit. Um, I like that that you know the, there's a decent chunk of I/O mm. already built in. You know, mm -hmm. you've got 16 outputs plus. Yeah, you know, there's some AES, and then of course you've got the card slot, which gives mm. you all your various other options. Yeah, and Blue Link. Um, yeah, there's, uh, it's obviously got the great Soundcraft uh, sound quality. There's, there's in terms of interface, pretty much anybody who's ever used a digital console could jump on this, and and get it going. It's not it, hard. It's it? not. It's very. It's. Not. it's it, I think that's a nice thing about, uh, especially sort of, the the compact series and and I guess the flow through mm. to the expression is that they've always made a lot of sense to just walk up to and use you know you select you can twiddle you still got things like you can hold down you know your EQ button to interrogate which channels it's applied to and you can mm. do that for things like your high pass filter mm. and even phantom power so if you want to quickly apply phantom power to a couple of channels you can do that mm. you've got LEDs on the back next to the XLRs. Yep. to sort of double indicate what's what's mm. got phantom going to it, which is nice. Yeah, and um, there's fader glow. So for when you're using uh, the faders for different functions like graphic EQ, you can have the different color uh, come up to, to know what you're doing. Yeah, so, uh, mm. I do like also the fact that we've now got this clear button which lets us very quickly go through and do things like reset a graphic back to a flat condition mm. um, uh, and reset all our parameters on, mm. on a channel EQ, for instance, as well. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's getting to be a very, very busy market uh, that uh, this is sitting in now. With a, um, but it's a, it's a solid entry and worthy of anybody considering a digital console purchase in that area.